So now that I've compared laptops with the 4600H and the Ryzen 4800H, it's time to give them a comparison overview to see which one is best suited for you. It always depends on your workflow, but overall from the research that I've done, it definitely depends on the programs that you're using. If you're just browsing the web with multiple tabs open, you probably just go for the 4600H and that will do just fine. In fact, there won't be much of an issue when it comes to using multiple programs at the same time. For example, exporting a video and unzipping a file while having multiple tabs open will work well with both processors. With that being said, the 4600H would be recommended even if you are a power user, while the 4800H will just give you straight up future proof because it has 8 cores. In summary, you won't see much of a difference between the two processors, except for programs that take advantage of multi-core performance. Programs like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro will only benefit in export times, and as you can see here, there is about a 100 seconds difference between the 4600H and the 4800H. Overall, the 4600H is more than powerful enough to stream and code and have multiple programs open and have everything that a power user would use, but most configurations with the 4600H only come with the 1650 or the 1650 Ti, and I always, recommended finding a, always recommend finding a laptop with a mid-range GPU for power users using the aforementioned programs and for gaming. Most companies will try to limit the specs to force you to buy higher end versions such as the Electronics RP15, but the Lenovo Legion 5 and Gateway Creator have the specs that hit the price to performance ratio just right, all while being enough for the average gamer and content creator. So I hope this helped you figure out which laptop to choose. I mean, you know, with any higher gaming laptops, it's all, all of them are pretty much made for power users. Even Intel's i5 and i7 processors will give you power user performance capabilities. If you just need a computer for schoolwork, you know, browsing the web, watching movies, opening documents, then I recommend like saving around 500 bucks and finding a laptop that's more portable and light. So hopefully this helps you and I'll see you guys in the next video.